Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? That's why your pastor is a politician, right. a.k.a. Reverend uh, uh, Al Sharpton, right. and all them big-headed Negroes, man. And they, they real, hold real quick, if I could, you hold this real quick? That, that so-called Democratic Party, they real big on that, man. Right. The, the whole Democratic Party got the church by their neck, man. Go ahead, man. Get that, get that powerful captain the priest ahead. It made an absolute point right there. You know what I'm saying? That, that pastor is a politician. Guess who get guess who the number one people getting you to vote now? You go in that church, they trying to get you to vote right now. Why? So they can keep the money in their pocket for all the lies that they gonna continue to tell you. You see what I'm saying? All the bills that they passing, the lobbyists paying for the politicians to uh, push their agenda. You know, your pastor's gonna push it as well by not telling you to uh, stop going. He's going to tell you to keep going. He's going to say the law is not done away with. See what I'm saying? Get me, get me a uh, book of Exodus chapter 22 and 16. We're going to keep going on what's natural that the law gave and what's unnatural that the slave master, the oppressor made. You know what I'm saying? Giving us all these drugs. Drop it right now, neighborhood. The original junkie is the white man. You see what I'm saying? The original, the original murderer is the white man. But they call us the thugs and the criminals. You know what I'm saying? You go far enough back. If a black man was dead back, back in the day, they didn't look for a black man. They didn't look for a black man that, that, to say that he did it. They was looking for a white man. You see what I'm saying? 22 and 16. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 22 verse 16 And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed uh, I know, hey, hey fellas, I know y'all already heard this before If a man entice a maid You know what it's saying right there, the Bible saying right there if, 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 if you spit game to a sister, right? That's exactly what it's saying If a man entice a maid, spit game to her Who that saying like? That's us black Latino Native American, man, go ahead and lie with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Now, when this Bible says lie with her, we know what it's talking about. If a man spit gay to a sister and they lie together, ain't talking about they just sitting back spooning. You know what I'm saying? It's talking about having sex. It said he shall surely endow her to, you know what I'm saying, to be the wife. He got to go to her father because he didn't take her father's possession. You know what I'm saying? And they even do that in the church. You see what I'm saying? When they, they don't even tell you that sex is marriage, but guess what? They say you're not married unless you consummate. Consummation is the completion of marriage with sex. They're not teaching you this Bible. Also, that father walks down the aisle with his daughter and gives her away to the, the groom. Just like this description right here said, he must endow her to be his wife because sex is marriage. She either took her from her father without permission. But the Bible says he must do it because now that's his wife. That means sex is marriage. Now, if we looked at sex like it was marriage, we might take a little bit more time before we lay down with somebody. We wouldn't have so much child support, so many baby mamas, so many baby daddies. Because if we're doing what's natural, you see what I'm saying? We'll take our time knowing sex is marriage because that's what's natural. Our oppressor makes it like, oh, sex is some re recreation. It's not recreation. So I'm saying? Sex is marriage. And they're talking about we're a man and a woman. That LGBTQ talking about, oh, love is love. Love is... Awesome. 
Love is in the Bible. Give me uh, 2 John 1 and 6. 2 John 1 and 6. We're going to find out. I know a lot of y'all listen to the R&B songs. Every R&B song talking about what's love. Always asking the question. But you do know that love, the definition of love is right here in the Bible. And love is what's natural. We're going to find out what's natural. You know what I'm saying? All these different explanations of love. You ask a person what love is, you're going to get 7,700 different uh, uh, definitions. We about to find out right now what love is, what's natural. You got that? Second job. Is everybody got their own definition of it? Or they just don't even know what it is or say, I ain't never been in love before. But I'm going to show you how you can show love. It's right here in the Bible. Go ahead. Second John, verse 6. And this is love. And this is love. The Bible gets straight to it. Tell you exactly what love is. Say it again. And this is love. And this is love. In case you did not know, blacks, Latino, Native Americans, pay attention right now. You're about to find out what love is. It's right here in the Bible. Go ahead. That we walk after his commandments. That we walk after his commandments. Say it again. That we walk after his commandments. When you're walking after the Lord's commandments, that's love. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Because the Lord's commandments show you how to love everybody around you. It show you how to be a brother. You see what I'm saying? Now that's natural. LGBTQ, that's not natural. They talking about love is love. Well, if you're looking at, if you go behind closed doors in them LGBTQ households, it's a whole, it's a whole wrestling match going on up in there. It's a demolition derby going up in there. You got more violence in them, in them uh, gay households than a little bit. And they always talk about somebody attacking them. If you look up the stats, it's them that's attacking them. But they don't bust you for trying to say you straight and that's how you want to be. So I'm saying, trying to make something that's good evil. So I'm saying, they can't even reproduce. You know what I'm saying? Kids are not safe around them. At all. Kids are not safe in that church with them in there. And they let them run free. Got any more on that? Get me a... Uh, do the right of me. Matter of fact, go to Jeremiah 23 and 1. We'll stay on that, that church and what they doing up in there. Because they they not changing anybody. See what I'm saying? You got everybody who addicted to something coming in there. They don't care. You was, what, uh, they got a pastor out in Atlanta. The pastor that was right here in, in, in Baltimore. They ran him out. I forgot his name. Jamal Brown. Jamal Brown. Jamal Brown was right here in Baltimore. Now in Atlanta talking about he gonna plant weed fields so that young young brothers can come through and learn how to cultivate weed. Sounding as sweet as he want to while he talking about it. You know what he got on his mind? LGBTQ ways. He want he gonna get them young men high, which he not supposed to be doing, and do what he want with them. You see what I'm saying? In this church, the church is what's destroying us. You know what I'm saying? Making our, you know, by, by them letting allow that to be, they making all our men weak. And they're making our women masculine. Our women are walking around masculine with that deep masculine demon on them. Our men are, are weak with that, that uh, uh, LGBTQ demon on them. How are we going to have a nation build an army if our men are weak? You got that? Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my people. He said woe, man. Go that word again. Woe. Woe. That means old English for destruction. It says woe to the pastor. Did you know that was in the Bible? Destruction to the pastor. Read that again. Woe be unto the pastor. Well, be on to the pastor. So when you go in that church, to, church tomorrow, show this is where you at. Tell him where you at. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. You go in that church tomorrow, ask the pastor, well, what about this, Jeremiah 23 and 1? What did it say? Well, be unto the pastor. Destruction on to the pastor. What? 
that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Well, I'll be destroying us by not making you change from being LGBTQ. Not making you change from being off of every single drug that they dropped in our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! Vote to him for every little thing that he does not uh, make you change. You know what I'm saying? And it's also says that scatter us. Why are you scattered us? We don't even believe the Bible no more. The Bible is a history book. The records of the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we don't even believe our own records. Why? Because of the past that got you thinking it's a bunch of fairy tales. He got you thinking a snake talked to Eve. You know what I'm saying? He got you thinking all these fairy tales that God sprinkled some fairy dust on Mary and she had a baby out of nowhere. None of that's in the Bible. And then Joseph was cool with it. You see what I'm saying? Fellas, how many, how many, how many of y'all, if y'all, your, your, uh, your fiance came back with a baby in her stomach, how many of y'all gonna be cool with that? Trying to make Joseph look like he was a weak man. You see what I'm saying? But trying to scatter us. You know how he's scattering us? We don't even believe in our own Bible, so what do we do? We go to Islam. We go to Christian week, we in that church, believing in the Christian lies. We Buddhists. We're doing everything. We're burning sage. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about we spiritual. I ain't everybody talking about they spiritual. Well, what's the opposite of spiritual? It's carnal. Carnal means your flesh. So spiritual, if, if, if you call it, that means you do what your flesh wants. So if you spiritual, that means you ignore your flesh. How many of us ignore our flesh? I bet your pastor couldn't ignore his flesh. That's why your first sexual experience is when you were found with your pastor. Because he couldn't ignore his flesh. He wasn't spiritual. Everybody's saying they spiritual, but go by their own flesh. You see what I'm saying? He's scattering us in many different ways. That's what this verse is talking about. So God said, whoa, to your pastor, you said that church tomorrow. All them lies he tell it. Go ahead. Said the Lord. Verse 2. Therefore thus said the Lord God of Israel. This is what the Lord said to the pastor. Go ahead. Against the pastors that feed my people. Against the pastor that feed his people what? Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. Since so, so you want to have us go every which way but believing in the Lord. And have not visited them. And ain't, listen, ain't, 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 ain't made them do anything that they supposed to do. He ain't visit you. He don't care. When you need help, can you go to that pastor? You know what he going to tell you to do? Just pray on it. Have faith. Why? Because he ain't got no answers for you. Read that from the top. Verse 2. Therefore thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastor. That against the pastor. The God of Black Latinos and Native Americans, he's telling me it's this to the pastors. I think he already said destruction to him, boy. That feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock. They scattered the flock out us everywhere but believing in this Bible right here. This is God's word. You know how you know it's God's word? Everybody else believe it but us. You know, the Islam, they try to say they got the, the next chapter of this, this record right here. Christianity trying to say everybody can have a piece of this right here. Right. You see what I'm saying? The Jewish man, forget about it. He say he is the people in here. Where it's only for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. He just scattered us from believing that this is our book. You know what we think? We think the white man wrote it. Well, you know, the white man dies in this book. Right. You ever seen a good movie? And you wait, you know what's going to happen. You know the villain going to catch his. When the, in the end of this movie right here called The Bible, the white man dies. Like the devil that he is. Right. The white man did not write the Bible. The Bible's in slang. You know why he didn't say you talk to a serpent? Because he was talking, she was talking to every other, every other uh, snake that walking around here, you know what I'm saying, telling us lies. That's what she, she was talking to, a deceiver, the devil. Keep going. And driven them away. And driven us away. We don't even believe in our own records, go ahead. And have not visited them. And he don't help you when you ask for help. He just say pray on it. He say pray on it. Go ahead. Behold, 
I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Read that from the Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. And driven them away to Islam. And have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Stop for the talk one more time. Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock. Keep going. And driven them away. And driven them away to believe in Christianity and all the lies that their pastor tells me. Go ahead. And have not visited them. Oh. And driven them away. And driven them away to thinking that the LGBTQ is an alternative lifestyle. And driven them away. And driven them to Islam. Thinking that the Arab man is somebody to follow. And becoming second class citizens to them. Go ahead. And driven them away. And driven them away to every other belief in this Bible right here. You see what I'm saying? Your, your pastor is following the devil. Why? Because he's getting fed by him. If he tells you what not to do, then next thing you know, you guess what you're going to do? That's why they got so many different denominations of churches. Because you're going to go to the next church that makes you feel good. You see what I'm saying? Well, we're going to tell you the truth right here today. What's natural is a man having sex with a woman being fruitful and multiplied. When the LGBTQ can't.